Yo, so today is a really, really important day. Um, probably one of the most important days because I'm going to be replumbing my tiny house. Um, basically, I uh, had like a little backyard fire. It burned some of the pipes, but also on top of that, I actually moved my tiny house. I want to say, I want to say like 40, 50 feet. Uh, it used to be like in the front of my house, like... If you imagine my house and like literally directly next to it is my tiny house. So I scooched it all the way back here in the back side of my yard. So um, doing both of those things, it kind of ripped and, and melted like a lot of the piping. Um, I also had like an old sink and I kind of fucked up and like it fell out of my hands at one point. And so when it fell out, it kind of like tore off a piece of the piping. So I kind of was not really caring too much about like the piping too much because there were so many other things I had to take care of. And um I already knew I was going to have to re redo it, so today is finally the day. Um, basically, I have a sink, and I have a shower, and my toilet will be a compost toilet. I haven't got it yet, so I'll be doing those. Um, and I'm literally just going to be feeding it in through the tiny house with, like, a hose, my backyard hose. So I got a few materials. So what I'm going to be plumbing it with is PEX pipes. This is what I did with the first time around, so I learned it's actually pretty fucking easy to do. And then, um, what I'm doing differently is I'm going to be hooking up this thing. Um, and we'll basically, you know, it's a few, like, shutoff valves, uh, because I want to have one hose going to my tiny house for plumbing, another one going to my pool, just in case I need to fill it up. That one's kind of, like, not necessary. And then one to my ADU's yard, and then the other to, like, my house's little yard so um nobody has to use each other's and you know it's just like accessible and i don't have to ever undo my plumbing to my tiny house because before that's kind of what i was doing if i needed to like water some plants or use any type of water i would like unplug my tiny house's plumbing and then you know use it and then come back so i thought that was kind of like an annoying way to do it so i think this thing is really cool and uh it'll work perfectly for what i want so, anyways, I'm about to get into it. I really hope it only takes, like, an hour, or maybe, honestly, like, 30 minutes. I don't think it should take too long, but, you know, doing all this DIY work, it really is making me see every single time I do any type of work, it costs more money and takes more time. So, I'm prepared for <laughs> the worst. So, here is the hose. So, I'm just gonna undo this guy. Oh, god damn it, it's on. Is it? It just has a little bit of water in it. Should be off. I honestly kind of fucking hate this, uh, this hose because it's so flimsy and if you just step on it, like, the water stops going through, so I really don't like this one too much, but, um, not really much I can do, so... I am planning on, like I said, getting a hose, a bunch of different hoses, but if I want to plumb it today, I'm, I'm going to have to use this, so I think what I'll do is when I get more, I'll put this one as, like, the pool hose, and then um, get, like, a more, like, sturdy, maybe, like, a steel hose or something like that for mine. I'm not really too sure what will work best, as long as it's, like, okay in the winter, so, um, anyways, let me roll it over to the tiny house.
So right now I'm just trying to kind of see what happened in the move and in the burning and whatnot. It kind of looks like... Dilly! So, yeah, basically I'm trying to look and see what exactly happened. What's up, Dilly? Hey. Um, and looking at what I can see so far, it looks like the shower has no hot water um, pipes. So I need to hook up one over there. Um, and what else? And I'm a little bit scared because I didn't even think about that. I think I might need more connections. I really hope not. But, um, so I need to get a pipe over there for that. And, um, it looks like the, uh, kitchen sink doesn't have any cold water, which I think that that's this one. Yeah. That looks like, that looks about right. But also the cold water doesn't have a pipe that goes into the hose as well so i'm hoping when i go in the tiny house i'll see some pipes and i'll see some fittings in there because right now oh wait this is it oh okay so it looks like i have both of the ones that go onto the hose the hot water up inside there i don't know what's going on in the in the tiny house yet i have to make sure that i have the hose the um hot water going into the water heater and then the cold one just has to be there so I'm going to look inside and see and make sure that I have everything I need. Uh, I think I do, though. Okay, it's hella dark in here because there's no electricity yet. But um, I'm sure really soon, a video real soon, I'm going to be posting about hooking up the electricity. But it looks like... Oop. Yeah, there's the cold water. It's burned up. So I'm kind of feeling like when now, right now, my plan is to work backwards. Or, I guess, actually, frontward. So, I got the hose all wrapped up and coming over here. So, up next, I'm going to hook those up to the hot and cold. And um, and then I'll work on the shower. And then I'll work on the sink. So, I think that should do it. So, let's go see what's going on out there. As of now, I do think that I have everything I need, though. All right, I got that all hooked up. I do know last time I hooked up all this piping and shit, um, it didn't even work that well. Uh, there was like kind of a leak because I don't think that these are really the right size. I think it's like maybe like a quarter of an inch off or something. I just don't understand really how to find out the right size for this. Um, this is like a standard hose fitting. And these things, it says it's a half by 34 um, copper yeah, so I'm just like really tripping about finding that. So if anybody knows that, please help me out. But um, okay, now I'm going to head on over to the shower area. It looks like I just have to um, hook up the hot water pipes. So yeah, I think I got to just feed this through over here. All right, I just got this guy to snap in. I already snapped a pipe into this same like fitting, so I really hope it can work a second time. Um, and then I got the uh, the cold water already hooked up to that. I love these shark bite things; they're so so convenient. So the shower should be good to go.
I got that cut out. So I'm gonna move this shit around because my water heater is literally backwards and um, I need to obviously get to the bottom of my sink connector. So I'm gonna move this shit around a little. hot water coming in from the hole down there and that comes around into this which then comes out of here nice and hot and this thing comes over here comes into there and that splits into two one of them goes up into the sink and then the other one goes down into the shower now all I've got to do is hook up the cold water pipe into this guy um, because this one, the cold water, cheddar, cheddar, back up. So for the cold water, we got it coming out of this thing from the hose and then it breaks off and then it breaks off right here. One goes to the shower and then that empty spot on top is going to go to the sink. I just got to hook that thing up and I should be done. All right, now it's time for the moment of truth. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on and uh, then I'll go back there and turn on those ones. Oof. All right, it's on. Okay, moment of truth. I'm just gonna use the, well, I'll use both, but the, um, I was just gonna say, I was just gonna use the cold water because the hot water here isn't even hooked up. Um, I could hook it up. I just gotta grab an extension cord, so I think I might, but I'm just gonna do the cold water first. Again, I think that these will definitely leak because they did before, so that's not really that bad. Oop. Got a leak up here already. So, this thing right here definitely leaks. Um, I could literally easily buy a new one. So, I'm going to try to screw it on there as best as I can. I've been trying, but um, I'll just try the rest of it out. I'll just buy a new one, so that's fine. Okay, let's see if inside's okay. Okay. I don't know how, but I... Oop. I don't know how, but I got it on. But now this thing is... This one's just kind of going crazy, but that's okay. It's the least of my worries. I'm going to get a new fitting for that. So, take a peek inside. So, down there, no leakage. That's good. Okay, cold is working. It's going down easily. Nothing's wrong. Nothing's leaking over here. Yeah. All right, now let's go to the shower. Let's see. I got my toilet in here right now. Take that out. All right, at the shower now. Only truth for the cold. Oh my God. Jesus Christ. Okay, I don't know what the hell happened, but it just completely popped off. Um, but it is working now. All right, I'm gonna grab this extension cord now that I know that the, uh, the cold water, oop. Now that I know that the uh, cold water works just fine, I just gotta get um, a right fitting to go from the pecs to the uh, um, hose. 
I'm going to see what's up with this water heater, see if it's still working. Hopefully the fire didn't ruin it. Um, I really hope the fire didn't ruin it. It was like $200, but I'm pretty sure it'll be fine. It, it looks like it's intact. So I'm going to hook up this extensor cord and uh, turn that boy on and see what happens. on so now I'm gonna turn on this hot water PEX pipe and I'm a little bit scared but hoping for the best okay it's filling it up I think it just filled it up I hear it I hear something I really just realized I have a leakage over here. I'm gonna try to push it in, see if that helps. Cause goddamn, I'm like ruining all the wood down here. Okay, no spillage anymore. Right now, this is the only thing that's spilling out. So now I'm gonna try the sink and the shower. Everything down here still looks good. So. Cold water. Ooh. Ooh, it's getting hot. It's hot. Warm. Well, it's warm, not hot yet. It's feeling warm. Going down the pipe pretty good. Okay, there we go. Now this big guy. I'm gonna have to hold down the head. I'm scared. <sighs> but okay. Yeah, it feels, feels like it's getting hotter. Okay, there we go. I do have a slight problem down here, though. I hella forgot that I had this little, like, crack down here from concrete, so I'm gonna have to redo that. And my tiny house is on, like, a tilt, and it's tilting that way, so it's all kind of going to that hole. I didn't even realize that. God damn. So I'm gonna have to level my shit really soon, probably tomorrow. Well, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm pretty happy that I did end up getting it all plumbed up. I honestly um, didn't have like as much confidence as I should have, have had going into it, but I'm really happy that it ended up working out. So um, it looks like I just have to buy new connectors for uh, PEX to hose. Um, other than that, though, I mean, it's working just fine. I'll show you guys um, everything working hot and cold. And, uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy about it. Let me know what you think. If you happen to know the name of or the size of whatever I need for that, like, please hit me up. Please let me know. I'd be, I've probably gone to Home Depot, like, three times specifically looking for that. And um, I ended up buying these on Amazon. So it's kind of confusing. But, yeah, anyways, hope you enjoyed. Peace.